Yo, what is going on you guys? It's Young Cards here, and today we are going to be making a MIDI kit in FL Studio. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So here we are in FL Studio. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new FL Studio file, drag in a VST of your choice into the channel rack, set your BPM, and grab a sound from your uh, VST. So in this case, I'm going to use the Fantasy Sound Bass Gutta Pluck Space sound. And then open up your piano roll and continue to work on your MIDI for your MIDI kit. So I'm going to just make a really, really basic melody. Alright, for the MIDI kit. Alright, and then I'm going to make a nice small melody up here on the octave above this one. Control B to copy those sounds over there. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to play our MIDI. Once you're happy with the way your MIDI came out, go ahead, go to File, Export as MIDI File, go to your desktop, and now you got to create your MIDI folder. So this is what you're going to call your MIDI. Um, so I'm going to call my MIDI 21 Savage. MIDI kit. All right, so 21 Savage MIDI kit, and then we're gonna give our MIDI a name. So this MIDI, I, I'm just gonna call it Savage, and then save it. So now we just saved our first MIDI. All you have to do to make more MIDIs is just repeat those steps, and then just keep saving them to that folder. And then once it's once you are done making your MIDI kit. You will have tons of sounds in your folder. In this case, I'm only gonna have one. Um, but yeah, you would have a lot more sounds and whatnot. And then you have to install it to your FL Studio. Now, how do you do that? You're gonna go back into FL Studio, right click on packs, open your packs folder, minimize FL Studio. You're gonna copy your 21 Savage MIDI kit folder, paste it into your packs folder, go back in the FL Studio, and then you will see it appear here, 21 Savage MIDI Kit, with the Savage sound that we saved earlier. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna remove what I have in the piano roll, and I'm just gonna drag this MIDI in just to show you that it works, and there it is. So that's how you make the MIDI Kit. One last thing I'm gonna show you um, what you're gonna do with your MIDI kit on your desktop is you are gonna send it to a compressed zip folder. Keep the name as is, and what that will do is it will allow you to upload this file to BeatStars, and it will also condense the size of the file. So if you have to send it to somebody in an email, like if you're collabing or somebody wants to buy your MIDI kit by email, you can simply just send them this zip file as one attachment file and it makes it super easy for them to just install the kit to their FL Studio. And that is pretty much the gist of it. That's how you make a MIDI kit in FL Studio. Obviously, you would have a lot more sounds and you would have a more professional name for your MIDI kit, but this is just for demonstration purposes. If y'all enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on my social networks, links in the description below. And you can also grab my newly released Mars MIDI kit in the description as well. And uh, that is all for me today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.